What's on? What's on? Let's see. What's on? What's on tonight? What's on? Hey, Partuba. Welcome <laughs> to What's On? What's On? What is on? What are you watching currently? What do you like to see? Is there anything you want to see? Let us know in the comments before. Down below. Let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, just to get that out the way. Hello. How are you doing? I, as always, am co-host, and this is the main host for this main event of the evening, this spicy video we got for you. <sighs> Let's start with what I got for y'all. Okay, then go ahead, keep going. What I got for y'all, it ain't as juicy as it's supposed to, but I got a couple things. Maybe y'all might take interest, take heed into what I like to watch. But, let's start off with a I hope it's one. something that you know they like to watch too, right? It'll become something they like to watch. Oh, okay. Put on to it. Hopefully. Now, go ahead. Um, let's start with something big and funny. Food Wars. Yes, Food Wars. I know it sounds like it's about people with cooking stuff, but it's actually an animation about a young man named Tsukihara. And he is basically the world's greatest chef <laughs> ever to ever do it. Except he's poor. And he has no way of showing his true skills until he enters a food competition to fight 32 of the other greatest food making culinaries in the kitchen in the world. And every single season, this man is put to the test with his culinary arts, skills, and repertoire. Oh, so, yeah. the more and more you see him grow and develop, the more you kind of build a bond with Sukiyara, the chef, that's what they call him. But his skills are just out of this world, and it, oh Jesus, I just gotta tell you, give it a try. You might not like it, but give it a try, please, for me. Let me know if I put you on, but my next show, real quick, just gotta get this out. Full Metal Alchemist, not the movie on Netflix, oh my God, it was horrible, the real life movie was bad. Ooh, Jesus needs to do a redo in the trash poop. There you go. But the anime, just to rid you of all that garbage, the bad mentality that it's a bad anime, it is really good. All this is on Netflix. And my third one, not Inuyasha, nope, but it will be this. Um, Metal Gear Solid. I would love for you to watch that as well, as well as Gurren Lagann. Another one. These are all robot shows. And my fifth one, or well, actually no, I'm a, yeah, I'm on fifth. It is called Space Dandy. Now I know y'all are thinking Space Dandy. Y'all seen the show? It's foo-foo, It's foolish. It's foo-foo. <laughs> It's bad. It's pew. No, it's really good, actually. The the literal man that's in space is called Dandy, so that's why it's called Space Dandy. Yeah. But, if you don't, haha. -ha. I thought that was pretty funny. If you say so. <laughs> okay, I thought it was pretty funny. Y'all have to agree. I hear y'all over here in y'all house. That's not funny. Okay, but those are my five regular animations. But hey, let me tell y'all something. If you don't know, let me tell you. Earthquake. My goodness, Dave Chappelle. He's a comedian, but I, I didn't know he was going to give me this. Oh, okay. This was something. Oh, jeez. I could do that forever, y'all. But That's a good earthquake, what? For 36 minutes, it was... It was an it, earthquake. It was, <laughs> okay. Ha, okay. Ha, 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 ha. It was, it was special, man. It was good. He and you can see he was already a. a he he probably, was comfortable. He was comfortable. No, he was wealthy. I, I, I can see. He okay. Wearing, he might have been wearing regular clothes, but like they he, say, he looks good. He, he's always had money. Mm -hmm. He's old. He's old in the game. He's been veteran, so of course he was comfortable. But man, when I tell you this man put me. 
had me on the edge of my my my, my bed, man. Young Brian, man, he was very funny, very humorous. Hit you with the one two real quick, and then the big punch coming. You just oh man, I miss that kind of comedy because a lot of the specials just haven't been hitting lately. Yeah, oh, okay. Me, but you know, he gets a ten out of ten for me. It's the effort. It's the wordplay. Yes, he cusses. It's a bit raunchy sometimes. But hey, man, I don't care because he makes it all worth it in the end. And I'm so proud. Thank you, Dave Chappelle. Thank you, Dave Chappelle team, the closing team. Thank you to Netflix for putting that in front of me. And we got to talk about this. There's a girl named Taylor coming Tuesday. Listen here, Netflix. Y'all did good with Earthquake. That's Dave Chappelle. But, <laughs> I don't care if Netflix put it down, but that's Dave for Chappelle. Listen here, Netflix. They're good putting him off. If this Taylor girl is bad, next video I'm going to let y'all know. So watch out for your review. So look out for that. What's her name, Taylor coming? No, no. Oh. It's not Taylor coming. I just don't have her last name at the moment. Okay. But it's Taylor. That's her first name. And she's looking up at the lights with the mic in her mouth. I, I'm just telling y'all, I'm ready for this. But hoping is good. Hope, fingers crossed that it's good, y'all. Fingers crossed. But please. Watch out for the, the review coming next week. Yeah, we, watch out for that. It'll be there. I will get on that. So, without further ado, I would like to tell you. Time for my main person in charge, the main host of the evening. Take it away. Just, just gonna, I'm just going to talk about a couple of movies that we watched. Right. Uh, it's What's On. What's and on? it's a couple of movies that I watched on Netflix. Some of, they, they came out on Netflix and <laughs> I just had the time and I relaxed a little bit. And I watched a couple of them before, right. you know, before I did any, any a lot of things. Right. Um, the first one I watched on Netflix was The Weekend Away. Ooh. It's a thriller, and it's set in Cro Croatia. Croatia, and um, it's, it's basically a weekend getaway for two friends who haven't seen each other in about a year. Oh. They, basically, that's what this you know, time span was. But they were college right. friends, and one of them got married and had a baby, and right. it's a read. You know, they're just they went they they got together for a night out in a. In a, in town in you know the friend was I don't know why they went to Croatia, <laughs> um the, the friend the um there was two two of them Kate and Beth I'm not sure why they were in Croatia Cor Croatia, because Beth lives in London right, uh, but then again maybe I'm, I'm I'm wrong about that but I think that's where she lives. I think you might be right. Right, so Kate. Is our friend is Beth and Kate. So Beth is the one who is married as the child. So she has just you know she's just planning to be away from her home for the weekend to spend the time with her, her friend from college, Kate. So they decide that they are going out to the clubs and Kate is you know they are Kate is asking her some pretty intimate question like how long has it been since you've been you've been laid and stuff like that. So she's like you know a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, but she's answering, but a little. She's like a year. I haven't had any sex in a year, and I'm like, okay. Anyway, Bet is all uh, intent and setting her up. She doesn't understand why Bet wants to set her up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. She doesn't understand why Bet wants to set her up so badly, and Bet keeps trying to push people on her on their way to anyway. They decide they're going to a club. On their way to the club, Bet is Bet is doing uh, all party things she's ready yeah, and she's ready to festive. get to get it on they just get yeah, festive and yeah. stuff like right. that right and anyway the, the friend is like smiling because Beth has just come out of a relationship so right. you know she's saying you know you know let her get to have, have her happy time you know yeah. you know enjoy yeah herself, let her right? enjoy herself right. right so they get to the club and two men meet them and they go back home in the morning oh, and man. when they, when she wake up she can't find Beth. Oh man. Beth oh. is missing and she is trying to locate Beth. She doesn't know where Beth has disappeared to. 
um, she's trying to, to, to figure out if she slept with the guy because she kind of passed right out. So she doesn't know if she slept with the guy from the night before. It's really, really good. It's a, it, it, so in the middle of, 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 of her trying to find this, we are in the midst of her trying to find Beth. She's now the suspect for the murder of Beth because they can't find Beth and she has everything that pertains to Beth. She meets up with this guy and the guy seems to be affiliated with the mafia. So oh, they are thinking... Oh. <laughs> it's <laughs> one mix up and it's as I say it's there. in a foreign country she can't understand the language yeah. and uh, everything is all mixed up so for the most part yeah. I, I totally enjoyed The Weekend Away it's a really really good movie it's on Netflix it's available right now What's next, friend? The next book, the next one is Biobug it's, it's on Netflix it's some um, robots oh, no. who have Taken over by a bug. It's a dark kind of comedy. Remember you, that one? I thought you said by a bug. Yeah, yeah, by a bug. It's the one we were watching. No, I realized you said by like your bug. Yeah. Oh, by your bug. Yeah, yeah it's a by your bug. Yeah. The robots have taken over the the country, and they have imprisoned all the humans oh in their God. house. So in order for them not to get into this particular house, the robots in that house who are trying to become human have locked the doors and to keep the bad robots out. So this this follows the entire sequence of things that are happening inside the house. It's it's a little bit like a little strange cartoon. Oh, I get this. I, think I don't, you know, like... I think I've seen it with you, right? Yeah, you saw it with me when I was watching it. These but were just I, very I funny. It was very funny. They were going through life they were, they were doing life and, and It was like, these these are called Xanax robots. Xanax robots are these big-headed, one-dimensional, one-face robots that are it's super advanced and super ready at the helm to fight and do what they have to do. They basically, because they allow the robots to advance, and this isn't like current day, it's pretty much in like the 1960s. Right? So, no, it was present. It's, no, it was um, 20, 2045. Oh, it's 1960. It Forgive me, I never saw that part. But uh, it's, it's 2045. So, um, there is that. But because the world was so advanced, the robots were able to do everything. The robots right. are doing everything because people the they no longer do anything. Controlling the cars, the window, the AC, everything that was. That is the that is the that is the purpose of the robots. You know, they collect, they control everything. Yeah. Yeah. You just talk to them like Alexa, yes. like what you would talk to Alexa. Yeah, that's what I'm just, yeah. So that's that's it. All right, so that's by a bug. And the, the other movie I watched on Netflix is Two Against the Ice. It's a book to you know in my regular book to movie. It's the movie two against the ice is the book and the movie is against the ice it's about it's about denmark 1909 expedition to greenland to map it and uh, the two gentlemen who were on the expedition the, the hardship they had to go through so that's that was a i really enjoyed that that man had to get frostbite and all those stuff Alrighty, so that's that's all the movies I watched on Netflix. I watched one movie on um, Amazon Prime, The Parts We Lose. Damn. And it stars Aaron Paul, and it's a young deaf boy. He's going home from school one day, and he finds a man on the road. And the man is a fugitive that who had um, one of the fugitives who had robbed the bank and the police is looking for him but the deaf boy hid him in a shelter and he was taking was taking care of him because he was injured he was cold and everything and they formed a, a really good friendship if you can and you have amazon prime you watch the parts we lose it's really really good really really good and my reality show uh what is the secret life of the cruise Wow. It's made. It was made in 2018, just before the pandemic. It is an inside look at the running of a massive cruise ship. This setting out for a, a week, for a week, week cruise to into the to the Caribbean. The, this this ship can hold 6.5, six and a half thousand people 
per cruise per week and they show you everything it has nine restaurants 11 bar it has a gym it has shopping mall they have fun they give you the back scene look it's so good if you're ever thinking about taking a cruise you can um take a look at the secret life of the cruise Alrighty. so those are my shows this week and thank you for coming in with us and watching um what's on and we hopefully will see you again next time be well be blessed and have a great week and we'll see you next week <laughs>